Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Um, I bought this uh, Citroen Ami Vibe about three weeks ago from just Citroen at Preston. They, they were great, I have to say. Absolutely fantastic. And um, I ordered it in August. It was the last day you could order a Vibe. I just need to... I've just set my cameras up in, and in doing so it's uh, the, the car's steamed up. It's uh, another rainy day in Preston or de Preston as it's uh, known by the locals. And uh, we're, we're kind of well steamed up. One of the first things I noticed when I got the car is this rubber seal along this window didn't sit right. And when I open it, and go to shut it again you see that it's it's not quite gone on it's a lot better than it was having said that um, but I had to stand outside push the seal in and then go along it like this with my fingers inside and then I've left it and we've had a couple of sunny days so I, I think that's kind of reshaped the, the the rubber or help reshape it and help it sit better so th so that's okay the car, or the quadricycle, I, uh, I love it. It's absolutely ideal for me. I live in an apartment by the river, and uh, it's a really nice place to live. However, Preston, I was, well, Preston Planning Department, a bit of an oxymoron, really, because they seem to just want to plan to cock everybody up. They're doing flood defences. They've spent the whole probably of last year making a cycle lane which nobody uses and has taken up a, a whole lane into Preston and to the main routes to, to Blackpool, St Anne's, Wharton, the, the biggest employer around here. So there's one lane going to work in the morning um, and two cycle lanes. The cycle lanes are as wide as the one lane going in <laughs> and out of Preston. So it's chaos in the morning and it's also chaos at night when you're coming home. Unfortunately, the, the traffic lights if there's three people turning, waiting to turn right, which is effectively down by the river, nobody else can go anywhere. It just blocks the whole road up. So that, that's been a nightmare. Their bad planning makes this car ideal because I find coming home when people are turning left and right and so on, I find that I can knit this car through a gap where I couldn't in my Range Rover and just here on this this is the one way out now for all this estate and to one of the most popular pubs in, in Preston and to the cricket ground this road which is effectively now one lane and one way for everybody to get in and out do I like the Ami? Um, I had a nightmare getting it, dealing with Citroen. There was no communication whatsoever. It was all one-way communication. To keep ringing them up or emailing them and asking them. It was due on December the 7th. I'd never had any communication to say it wasn't going to be here on December the 7th. It just didn't arrive. Um, And me being in the car job all my life, I found that totally unacceptable. And in the end, oh gosh, it was probably early March when the vehicle was three months overdue, well, four months overdue it would be really. I, uh, I emailed them and cancelled it. I, I, didn't, I didn't get a, a response from the cancellation. But the one thing I did get was uh, about three weeks later, a call from the AMI team. And it was obvious that 
the the guy the army team was as fed up and as I was and clearly under pressure um, the the Citroen have tried to do this online it hasn't worked it doesn't work agency sales will never work you need to be able to go into the dealership see somebody and then have a point of contact and somebody who's basically depending on the commission for you to get the car so they've got a vested interest in you getting the, the car in the end and keeping you happy so the, the car arrived it was due for delivery or 31st of March now March is really the end of the, the new registration letter month crucial for garages it's make or break for them and uh, just sitting at Preston were very very busy he had 20 cars going out of the week at the weekend and, and this arrived on Friday so I could only have it Monday now we've got a garage we've got a one of the best valeters about and uh, I said to the garage look let me take it it's been PDI'd it's been checked over let me take it I'll get it clean it's no problem to me and they did they've been they've been absolutely great so I went and picked it up on the Friday night and I've been running around in it virtually every day since bearing in mind it's a hard thing to do because I was using a Jaguar F-Type 3 litre supercharged. Now is this the most beautiful car you've ever seen in your life? Because honestly I can't think of a better looking car and it drives absolutely magnificently. It's, it's, I can't fault it in any way, I just love the car. Lovely to drive and it has an engine note which just makes me happy. Listen. Electric cars don't make me happy in any way. <laughs> this one kind of does. It makes me smile when I see it. And it makes other people smile, point, stare, wave, shout, take photographs. I went to Starbucks yesterday and there was a lady in an SLK and she she got her phone out and videoed me. Which was, was quite funny when you consider that I've, I've, I've been in, uh, I go to Starbucks every day at least once. And I'm in Range Rovers, Jags. Maserati we had the other week and <laughs> nobody nobody takes a second look so I've got the car now I've done the windows with Rainex it came it was full of black streaks as I say hadn't been cleaned Lance it's not doing it Find out in a minute. But you'd have to be very careful doing it with one well, of these. That's the magic sponge, isn't it? Yeah. Just let's see the face of the magic sponge now, because that's that's the pink. Yeah. I'll just keep checking for grey, you know. But we we were a bit worried about it at first. I didn't know whether it was stained because it comes from Morocco. Whenever you get anything on a car and it's hot, it can bake into the paintwork even and bearing in mind that's covered in lacquer this is just from what I can tell untreated plastic and there was on the roof here there was uh, some bird droppings and yeah. you can see it's eaten into the plastic already we've got most of it out but you can still see it so anyway Lance used a, a non acidic product called muck off and, and the black streaks came off you use muck off and a magic sponge and you, you haven't got to press too hard I have seen somebody on the internet who's obviously 
rubbed at the, the body of the car to get the black streaks off with a scrubbing brush or, or, or a Brillo pad or something. And it's furred the plastic up, it looks horrible. It looks like it's been scuffed. Like you'd see on a plastic bumper that somebody's caught or caught against a, a brick wall. It scuffs, pulls the plastic up, and there's nothing you can really do with it. That's what his whole car looks like now. So that's not very good. So we were very careful and we got the black streaks off with muck off. I've been using it since. We, we, we're gonna put, been in touch with a firm called G-Technic because uh, I want to put a ceramic coating on it so I, I don't have to worry about things dropping on it, bird droppings and we have a lot of cherry blossom around here. The, the cherry blossom drops on the car and then with the sun turns it brown and it ends up staining. It can even stain paintwork. I don't want that to happen. So we found a, co a ceramic coating. Um, I'm driving around in Preston. The roads in Preston are shocking. Absolutely terrible. They are a disgrace. Absolute, I, I, I can't find the words to describe how bad they are. And in the army, it seems like you have no place to avoid them. They're all across the road. There's one particular that's as wide as an army wheel and it's about 30 foot long. It's like a furrow. And if your wheel goes in that furrow, then it's very difficult to turn out. There's potholes that are that deep. It, it really is a disgrace. Preston Council should be absolutely ashamed of themselves. It, it's, it's, it's just not funny. Anyway, I've been driving along and some potholes you can't avoid. There's a car at the side of you, you can't move out, uh, or a cyclist, you, you know, you have to go and, and sometimes you catch a pothole. It makes me cringe every time I go over a pothole in this vehicle. It, it, it shakes the whole car. The mirror that I've put in, I've had to tighten it up so tight that I'm frightened of it breaking because it just moves. You go over a bump and the mirror moves and you, you know, I mean, you can't, I can't really reach it from here. So I have to stop and pull it back. Even the, the mirrors on the outside, they change position. A couple of, well, about a week ago, I think, I was driving through Preston and it was, it was quite a nice day. And I heard a noise that was like a crack. And I thought I'd gone over something and it, it had hit the wheel arch because it was over here and down there. Never thought any more of it. Um, yesterday, Lance was washing my car again and he said, have you seen this? Showed me, pointed it out. There's a crack in the door. It's on the inside. along the edge of the door, the black plastic, which I assume is bonded onto the blue plastic. The crack's about so big. Now, I've not trapped anything in the door. I've not hit anything. I've not banged the door too hard from the outside. It's just what appears to be a stress fracture. And when I look on the outside of the door, there's also marks. When you bend plastic, and you keep bending it, no matter what colour it is, it tends to end up going white. It generates heat as well. When, it, when you keep bending something, you, you feel the plastic and it's warmed up, generates heat. On the outside of the door, I can see some white patches and it seems to correspond with where this black plastic is bonded to the outside door as if it's moving as if that's what's caused the crack now just here 
I turn into Starbucks here, there is a furrow here that is just horrendous. It's steamed up really badly now as well, that car. There's also two more potholes here. And if there's anything coming the other way, I have to wait. There's one here that's about six inches deep. So I have to go across like that into the other lane to miss it. Um, and I'm wondering whether the, this car, although it's ideal for Preston, I'm wondering whether the roads of Preston aren't ideal for the car and has caused this stress crack. No doubt, well, it, it is definitely um, under warranty by Citroen and that shouldn't happen. When they check it, they will see there's no point of impact. So the thing is just cracked of its own accord. And uh, I think they'll have to replace the door, which I don't want. A, because it's a vibe with a graphic on. And B, because things that tended to, you know, they've been, been out in the open air, they've been out in the sun. The panels tend to fade, even in a short time, the panels tend to fade. I have heard they've got no vibe graphics left, so they, they can't sell any, which makes me wonder whether they'll be able to replace a vibe door. It, it's quite uncertain. But I'll just show you. I'll just show you the door and the crack, because I will check both doors. This one, of course, is forward facing but make sure you check your vehicle. So this is it. Camera's on. This is the crack. If you can see there, it's cracked from there to there. There's no marks, it's not been hit. And then on the, no, we, we can't see here. But, well, perhaps there, can you see? There's a white mark that lines up almost precisely with here where I assume it's bonded. And there's some more. There's, there's another one there. Let's just see. I have got the chamois leather in here. So there's also a mark there, if you can see it. One there. Not ideal weather for it, I'm afraid. But uh, I'm afraid the top and bottom of it is, it's not very good. Two weeks old, it's done 280 miles, I think. 287 miles, three weeks old, sorry. Uh, it's not tremendous. Is it Citroen's fault? Probably not. Is it Preston's fault? Almost definitely will have contributed to it, I think. Um, so I'm not sure. I don't know. I love, I love it. Really love it. Um, ideal for me. Coming backwards and forwards to work. It saved me a fortune already. Uh, it's handy to charge at, at work. Even though I live on the, the second floor, I can stretch a cable out of my window. From which I got from Tough Leads, which is great, and I can charge it from over my balcony. It's absolutely perfect for me. Um, <laughs> will it be perfect for me if the doors keep cracking? No. But uh, in all fairness, I usually drive a Range Rover, and there's some bumps around here, there's some potholes that you can even feel 
with a Range Rover with 21 inch wheels, you know, 21 inch wheels and, and, and like 270 tires or something. Um, so you can only expect that this is, it's, the roads are going to have more effect on this, this vehicle. Anyway, I'll keep you updated. I've been too busy to do what I planned on this vehicle. Um, it came at entirely the wrong time. Our busy period, and not December when it would have been quiet and I could have done stuff. But there you go. I've fitted this roller blind to it, which is very good, keeps the heat off you. Um, I've fitted the these, the, the sun visors there. Quite good too, although I just find it if I have it fully down, I find it difficult. I find it difficult anyway to see traffic lights in here because of course they're up there usually. So you, you're either doing that through the roof um, because you, you, can't, you can't see up. If you're the first car in a queue, then you really struggle, you, you, you like so. But all those things apart, the good things outweigh the, the, the bad things, the small points. You see today, it's lashing down, and we're quite misted it up. It, it is, I've not put the mist stuff on here, but you can see there, if that keeps it clear, I'm not sure. I've put rain -X on the outside, that's brilliant. Uh, even when it was freezing last week, my car didn't freeze. It was covered in tiny droplets that didn't freeze. Everybody else's car was frozen. So that's... You know, you, you can mostly manage things. I might try the anti-fog stuff. It's at the garage. I've just not got around to putting it on because I hadn't cleaned the windows properly inside. Well, we'll, we'll see. So that, that's the end of part one of this video. I'll take you through town in a, let's see. I'll just get a coffee. And I might, I might take you through town. See you in a short while. Ta-da.